Hi everyone, welcome to another WP Tuts Plus screencast with me, Mark Thomas. And today we're going to be talking about how to break an install of WordPress, and then how to fix it again. Let's get started. Changing the site URL is something that people generally do when they don't understand what they're trying to do. They tend to think that it will be a quick fix in moving their WordPress install, and it ends up breaking, and then they panic a lot. Usually you see an error establishing database connection page whenever you try to access the blog, or alternatively, you can't log into your WordPress admin panel. And that's because the site URL is the thing which WordPress uses to build the links to the site in the database. Okay, so let's get started. We'll just try and change that site URL as a demonstration. Load up our WordPress install. Mine is hosted here on localhost. Uh, using MAMP, and I've named my install Broken Arrow. Now this is fine right here, but let's say I want to change the site address. Uh, we'll say New Broken Arrow, for example. Save changes. Now let's see what happens if I try to visit the site. I get a 404 not found. Now because I'm on the local host on my computer using MAMP, I get 404 not found. If I was on a web server I'd probably see the error establishing database connection or some related error that would be equally horrifying. Well now how do we fix that? Actually there are three ways to fix it pretty easily. Let's look at the first one now. Open up your functions.php file. In the functions file right at the top we want to start by putting in these two lines of code. We'll start with update option site URL localhost broken arrow. We also need to do the same one except for home. So we'll press save. And we refresh our page. Oh, it still says new broken arrow. Delete that. And look, now we've got our install fixed again. Let's reload the settings page. We can see that our functions file in our theme has updated our install address to broken arrow rather than new broken arrow, which is great. And once you've fixed that, what you should do is go back to your theme functions file and you should delete these lines. And that's because if you ever choose to use the theme on a different install of WordPress, it can be really annoying to try and work out why installing a theme that already works on your other site is breaking your new site. And the reason usually is because you've left those two lines in which updates the site URL of your new install to your old address. So just go ahead and delete those, press save, and we're back to normal. Now the second method of fixing things looks at the WP config file, which is in the root directory of your WordPress install. For example, if I've installed my blog on examplesite.com forward slash blog, uh, it would be in the forward slash blog directory. If we come back here, we'll break our blog again. So new broken arrow, save changes. Whoops, broken. Okay, no problem. Let's open up our WP config file. And some people say that this is a bad thing to do because it hard codes the new site URL into your site. I personally quite like it because it means that nobody can edit the site URL in the dashboard anymore, which kind of fixes things so that people don't break them again. And we'll look at that in a moment. So what we need to do here is just underneath this line that says that's all stop editing happy blogging or really anywhere in the in the WP config file but this is a neat place for it. We need to put in the following lines. We'll put in define the WordPress home as and then you would substitute this part here for the address of your site. And then we also need to do the same thing for site URL. So WP site URL. Save. Now let's load our blog again. And hey, we're fixed. Well, let's have a look at what's happened on our dashboard now. Whereas we had this before, 
and these fields were white. Now we've blacked them out and you can't edit them anymore. See? No, no amount of tapping will let you edit those. I personally like that. And there's one final method that we can use to relocate our site and it is called the relocate method. So I've just deleted here from the wp-config file those lines which we just added. I'll press save, refresh that and we're back to new broken arrow which again breaks our site. There you go, broken arrow. This is kind of a similar method and it just calls on a WordPress function and that is just define relocate true and you need to put it in just before that that's all stop editing file we'll press save now we'll go back to broken arrow and we're fixed and that works by just telling the database that it is looking for the install again we'll fix it remember to change that to your actual install address and click save changes and we're all good and that is how you would go about fixing your WordPress install. Just make sure that after every one of those you do, you, re you undo the changes that you've made to your actual files. So you can, for the relocate method, just put false, for example. Uh, and we'll just click here and see that that's still working. And all it does is that just tells WordPress to stop trying to relocate the WordPress site address. Okay, and that's how to break an install of WordPress by changing the site URL. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.